So right now where all three of the US markets are sitting, we are on the brink of a potential breakdown. As I look through the majority of shares out there across all of the markets, the majority of them are sitting on very, very important levels of support. Also, macro pivot point support points on the price chart. As you can see, if I just scroll through some of these shares, let me just explain to you how the markets are moving, where the markets sit, and how that translates to individual stocks. As you can see, Apple appears to be in some form of a descending triangle. We're sitting right on that level area of support. Ticker symbol BLK, it looks as if we're in some form of an ascending triangle. Again, sitting on some form of a lower support. Long lower wick indicating buying pressure. Not so much of a good example on cell G. DAL, work with me. We have a support level coming through here. It's as if we are sitting right on the edge. We can split either higher or we can break down lower below the current price of DAL. Not a good example on EOG. Facebook, we're already breaking down below that primary trend line. Look at FFIV. Support level coming in through here about $128. We're starting to see the breakdown or the initial breakdown. We're sitting right on the edge of support. FIS, this was a stock again at almost a support level. You can see right here in some form of an ascending triangle or a wedge. Today's candlestick doesn't really give us too much uh, further argument to the discussion which I'm pledging to you right now, but you can see we're sitting on the edge of an upward support level. FTI, again, breaking down into a support level. We're sitting right on the edge of total collapse on the stock FTI. I'm just zooming out and showing you the next collapse in price moving down to support at about $36.30. It's not taking much for these stocks to potentially sell off. Look at Hon. It's got a left shoulder ahead, a potential right shoulder. We're sitting right on the edge of support. KMI. Now, I haven't selected these stocks whatsoever. This is just a watch list, which I occasionally look at. Have a look at the chart of KMI. Again, support level coming through here, about $41 or $40.50. If we break below these two swing lows, we're sitting right on the edge of support, and you can see the price of KMI break down very, very quickly. Look at LinkedIn. It's already starting to break down. We've got a high. We've got a lower high. We're breaking below the most recent lower lows, we're already transitioning into a lower moving market on LNKD. Look at MON, we're sitting right on the edge of support. Again, 114.92 an entry break down below all of these areas of support. Priceline, check this one out, we're sitting right on support. 1,025, we got a breakdown on Thursday, a little bit of a counter move today on the Friday. Let me just zoom out and show you this on the weekly. If we start breaking below where we are or the candlestick on Friday, we've got targets at 978. 935. I hope you can start to see the theme of the markets. PFE is not a good example. We are in a bullish trend on PFE. It does not add to the argument. Look at SanDisk. Earnings is coming out, so this also gets in the way of the argument. But look at the price action. It is tanking. We're breaking below support. A little bit of an intraday rally or an intra um, market rally on Friday. We're sitting right on the edge of support. Tesla again. Gap down based off the CEO's uh, remarks at Q4 sales in China weren't as good as expected or they were quite slow. All right, so we're sitting on the edge of a 184 breakdown. Twitter, the same is true amongst most stocks trading out across all three of the US market indices. I'm bringing this to your attention because when we go back to, of course, what the markets or where the markets are sitting at the moment, you can see the Dow Jones Industrial Average sitting right on the edge of support. The S&P 500 sitting right on the edge of support. Having a look at the uh, NASDAQ, we're sitting right on the edge of support. At the end of the day, we are at what we call a pivot point. A very, very important pivot point for the direction of the market finishing January 2015. Right now, we're 50-50 as to which direction this market is going to move. I'm excited to bring you this weekend's pro analysis class. Um, again, we'll walk through this in more detail. I'm just, again, bringing this information to you because it's very, very important for people who are looking to set up trades for the week ahead. All the best. Goodbye.